So I'm officially 40 years old, and yes, I know, it's hard to believe, because I don't look a day over 25, but yes, I'm an old man. And to celebrate, we decided to go to Hollywood and do the ultimate nostalgic trip. We flew out from JFK to LAX. The flight was about five hours long, and it was a pretty smooth trip. Uh, no complaints other than the movie that was on. JetBlue has live TV, so you don't really know what's going to air. And unfortunately, it was... <laughs> The plane landed around 11 o'clock and then we waited for a lift to go to our hotel which was the Dream Hollywood Hotel. It was about 30 minutes from the airport. This is probably around my third time staying there. I like the area a lot. Uh, Dream Hollywood is a, it's a fun place. They have um, you know uh, NFT stuff on the wall. Just ignore that. But they also have a robot butler. One thing I keep forgetting is that some of the rooms there don't actually have a wall. Well, they have a wall, but it's a glass wall, and you could just uh, you, could, you could see your partner pooping. I guess I, I don't know. I guess some people are into that stuff. I'm not kink shaming. It's just not my thing. I'm sorry. We didn't have a lot of days in LA, so we decided to stay in and rest because the next day was going to be pretty busy. So we had some drinks and we stayed in and worshipped our Lord. L. Ron Hubbard. The next day was a very exciting one. We went to Universal Studios Hollywood, and I know everyone's excited about the Nintendo World Land, but that was the second thing on my list. The first thing was something that represents my childhood more than anything on this planet, and that was the secret life of pets. But then we went to Springfield. This place was number one on my list because much like myself, it's going to shut down soon and only a few people will remember it. And once it's gone, they're going to move on to something more exciting and probably taller and more handsome. Being a longtime fan of The Simpsons, it was just really surreal to be there. I honestly could have stayed there the whole day and I almost did. Seeing the characters are really fun, whether they were statues or just the actual characters like Bart Simpson. And one of my all-time favorite characters, Homer J. Simpson, which I panicked and I almost backed out of it, but I mustered up the courage and I took that photo with him. We did get on a Simpsons ride. It wasn't my favorite and I'm older now, so motion rides just make me want to vomit immediately, but it was fun. Then we got some food. We got a Krusty Burger. Then we went to Cletus Chicken Shack and got some fried chicken. And then we got the giant donut at Lard Lad. Forbidden donut. But without a doubt, the highlight of Springfield would have to be, at least for me, Moe's Tavern. It was so cool to see Barney there standing by the love tester and drinking some Duff beer and also getting some of their world's famous flaming... Mo. It's called the Flaming Mo. That's right, the Flaming Mo. My name is Mo and I invented it. That's why it's called the Flaming Mo. So, of course, for safety reasons, the Flaming Mo doesn't have the following ingredients. Little bits that were left in every liquor bottle, the kids' cough syrup. Huh? What it does have is dry ice and the most expensive glass of orange soda you've ever had. So if you're a fan of orange soda, you are in for a treat. And hello, the Flaming Mo is purple and like it would have been nice if you lit it on fire and maybe put some booze in it. Like, okay, I overdid my stay. So it's time to move on and leave Springfield. We were on our way to Super Nintendo World. Wait a second, that's not Yoshi. That's not Yoshi! Jurassic World was just the right amount of fun to help me forget about Springfield. Wow, being around Jurassic World really made me think of that Treehouse of Horror episode where Homer went back in time by accident because he was fixing his toast. Oh wait, let me uh, talk about Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park... Uh, oh, Jurassic Park came out on my 10th birthday. See, nobody cares. All right, I guess I'll move on. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Super Nintendo World. Hey, paisanos. I don't even know where to begin about Super Nintendo World. It was just visually overwhelming. It was just so much to look at, and they just really put so much detail into the environment to make you feel like you were actually in this Mario world. I mean, you look at places like this, and this is this is the reason why you should travel. 
Like, why go see mountains? Like, the Grand Canyon is just a giant hole. It's a giant hole. It's a giant hole. It's a giant hole. What's the, what's the point? But I'm going to have to say it. Mario Kart wasn't great. I mean, at least to me. I mean, it was, it was cute, but when it comes down to it, it, it really felt like a baby ride. And to wait like an hour and 20 minutes to ride on a baby ride is just not uh, my, my cup of, uh, what would Mario drink? Tomato sauce? Hey guys, come back please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Yes, it's a very popular ride, so of course it's gonna be a long line, but goddamn, this whole family in front of me, the, the grandmother had to be like 90 years old. I was like, she's just gonna turn into dust after this. And then like, the kids were just running rampant all over, climbing things that they shouldn't climb. And then like, one of their older siblings was like vaping, so all the vape smoke was just like, going on our faces. It was just, it was unpleasant. And then, once you get on the ride, you better pray that you are not a big fat fucking elephant Mario because you will not fit and you have to do that walk of shame. The park says people may not be able to board this if their waistline measures 40 inches or more. Thankfully, I just fit. Like, I had to crack my rib cage because I was pressing down on the bar so hard and I got that last click that allowed me to ride. I don't understand why you need to be on so tight. The reason is that more parks are making ride constraints tighter so that the younger children cannot slip out of their seats. See, the problem isn't that I'm fat. The problem is that this ride is a baby ride.